Okay, everyone. Welcome. We are going to go ahead and get started. We can't thank you enough for joining us today. My name is Katie Bischel. I am the coordinator of undergraduate undergraduate prospective student services for the College of Education and Human Services here at Central Michigan University. I couldn't be more excited to welcome you to our virtual college week. I am joined today by Christine LaBelle. She is an academic advisor for Central Michigan University, but she works specifically with students in the College of Education and Human Services. So Christine, you wanna say hello to everyone? Yes. Hi, Katie. Thank you so much for introducing me. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Again, my name is Christine LaBelle. And so I will be monitoring the chat section. So if you have any questions throughout the presentation, just stick them in the chat and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So enjoy the presentation, everyone. Awesome. So we are going to go ahead and jump into things. Just a few housekeeping items if everyone can make sure to mute their microphones. That way we don't get any of that background noise. Uh, but like Christine said, be sure to ask any of the questions in the chat as well today. So this week we have a ton of sessions planned for you guys so that you can dig deeper into the various departments and programs offered within the College of Education and Human Services. Today we're really focused on giving you an overview. We do have five academic departments that contain various programs and we wanna make sure as you tune in later this week that you know which session may be the best fit for you. Okay, so the College of Education and Human Services, like I said, we are comprised of five academic departments. Each of our departments is focused on students prepa preparing our students for careers that are going to enhance the lives of others. We lead the way in educator preparation as well as human services programs where our students, faculty, and staff are learning to challenge, lead, and also inspire the world. As we look at our five academic departments, they can be split up into four separate sections. We start off with that side of our college that's focused on education, teacher education specifically. So Central Michigan University was founded as a teacher's college. We have been preparing teachers for more than 125 years, and each year we still are placing more than 300 teaching candidates into the field, something we are very proud of. So two of our academic departments are focused on this teacher preparation and education section. So we start out with the Department of Teacher Education and Professional Development, as well as the Department of Counseling and Special Education. Here is where we find elementary education. So elementary education is going to allow our students to focus on grades PK through six, but you're not necessarily going to be focused on a subject area. Instead, you're gonna be focused on an age range that you're wanting to work with. From there, we move on to secondary education. This will allow our students to teach grades six through 12, and you will have that opportunity to focus in one of those subject areas. Some of those subject areas are going to include English, mathematics, social studies, or science. Special education is unique in that it's one of our K through 12 endorsements. So you will have to pair this with either elementary or secondary education, but you'll be able to teach special education in grades K through 12. Within our special education, area, we allow our students to choose either cognitive or emotional impairment. So from here, we move on to the other side of our college, that human services section. Depending on the college or university you're looking at, everyone defines human services differently. But like I said, when we look at our college as a whole, we're really focused on careers that are going to enhance the lives of others. So the first department we start out with is the Department of Human Development and Family Studies, which is where we find child development. So child development is a field that allows you to explore the growth and development of children from birth through adolescence, but more so in the context of families and community. A position, a position these students um, typically seek out is becoming a child life specialist upon graduation. Next, we move to early childhood development and learning. So this is going to be a great option for students who want to work with younger children, but not necessarily in an elementary school setting. So this would allow you to work in either a child care center, a preschool, or even a Head Start facility. Next, we have family studies. So family studies is going to equip our students with the skills to educate and support families in a variety of human services related fields. All of our family studies majors are eligible to apply to become a certified family life specialist upon graduation. The next department we feature is the Department of Fashion, Interior Design, and Merchandising. We kick things off with fashion merchandising and design. 
So in these two programs, students are going to study aesthetic and functional design, but also marketing and retailing of apparel and textiles in preparation for a variety of careers in the fashion industry. You can major in either fashion merchandising or fashion design. Many times our students will combine these, but we also offer a minor in visual merchandising. This department is where we also find interior design. So interior design is going to teach you to create and reinvent not only better home interiors, but also workspaces as well. We emphasize an integrated approach that will relate interior design to not only society, but also to architecture. A few um, potential careers are going to include being either a residential or commercial designer, or even something like a space planner. The last department we feature is going to be the Department of Recreation, Parks, and Leisure Services Administration. This is where we find outdoor and environmental recreation. So if you've ever thought about being a teacher, but don't necessarily wanna be confined by the four walls of a classroom, outdoor recreation could be a great fit for you. As an outdoor recreation professional, you can work in a variety of settings, including camps, parks, adventure programs, even becoming a conservation officer. From here, we move on to recreation and event management. This is going to prepare you to work in both the for and non-for-profit recreation and event managed industry. Our students go on to work in a variety of places such as theme parks, community centers, university recreation, sport and entertainment venues, even military recreation. The possibilities are truly endless. It just depends on what setting is going to be the best fit for you. The last program featured in this department is going to be therapeutic recreation. So therapeutic recreation is designed to provide you with the knowledge, skills, and practical experience necessary to become a nationally certified therapeutic recreation specialist. In our major, students are working with um, clients with not only intellectual, but also physical disabilities, and you're typically working in the hospital setting as well. Another thing we like featuring when talking about the Department of Recreation, Parks and Leisure Services Administration is that it's the home of the leadership minor. The leadership minor is one of our largest minors here on campus because it complements a variety of academic programs across our campus. Everything from health professions to communication, business, even political science. So our leadership coursework is going to emphasize service learning as well as practical experiences. So something to definitely check out. So now that you have a little bit of a better idea of the academic departments and where each of our programs fall, I also wanted to touch on our specialized spaces. So the College of Education and Human Services is unique in that a hands-on component is required for every program we offer. From student teaching to internships, we want to make sure our students are getting those hands-on experiences. With that, we're really fortunate to offer specialized spaces on our campus where students can get that hands-on learning component without even leaving campus. So a little bit later this week, we will have some videos giving you a behind the scenes look at a few of these spaces, but some of them I always like mentioning include the Center for Excellence in STEM Education. For those of you wanting to pursue a STEM field um, focused with secondary education, but then we're also fortunate to have the Child Development and Learning Laboratory, which is a state-of-the-art facility located right here on campus that houses a three and four year olds in a full preschool setting. So be sure to tune in on Thursday as we take a closer look at some of these behind the scenes. While we love that you're wanting to come to our campus here in Mount Pleasant, Michigan, we also want our students to take advantage in some of our once in a lifetime learning opportunities that take place outside of Mount Pleasant. So we offer various study abroad and study away opportunities as well everywhere from Ireland to Italy, Mexico, even doing a tour of fashion in Asia, we have opportunities for all of our programs and all of our students to study in different parts of the world. If you're thinking that eh, maybe I don't wanna leave the country, we do offer other opportunities within the United States as well. One of our most popular options for our um, teaching students is that we offer student teaching in Immokalee, Florida. So great opportunities, things we definitely encourage our students to explore while they're here. Another great feature of the College of Education and Human Services is going to be our residential college. So the residential college provides a great community for our students to work and live with like-minded students. So it is located on the second floor of Sweeney Hall, but if you're thinking you wanna be around students that you can collaborate on coursework with, 
be involved in community outreach, and just gain leadership and professional skills, the residential college and the College of Education and Human Services could be a great fit for you as well. And I highly encourage you to explore that as your living option during your freshman year. Okay, I'm gonna turn things over to Christine. I know I've covered a lot of information in just a little bit of time, but Christine's gonna to touch on some of our support at Central and our various levels of academic advising. Christine? All right, thank you, Katie. Hi, everyone. So we're gonna talk about academic advising. And so you actually have a team of academic advisors at CMU. And so you come in and you, we are signed an academic advisor from the very beginning. So you'll be with an advisor from all the way from freshman year, all the way through graduation. And with those college advisors, we're gonna help you plan your courses. We're gonna do academic planning. We can plan out courses all the way to graduation. We can talk about those major, major minor combinations, the ones that are very marketable and that would suit you best. You also have a partnership with faculty advisors. And so those are really important because those are the experts in the field. So your faculty advisors, those are your teachers, your professors, and they know everything about that subject. So they're a very, very valuable resource. So I highly recommend to see your college advisors along with your faculty advisors as well. Along with that, you also have academic assistance. And so CMU offers much more assist assistance to you to be a successful student. Starting with student disability services, we have a writing center to help you with any writing project. We have the math assistance center, and then of course, individually individual tutoring. So CMU offers three hours of free tutor on one-on-one -on -one with a tutor per week, if you would like that for any subject. So lots of advantages to, to, to CMU for academic assistance. And along with college advising and academic assistance, you can be a successful student. Awesome, thank you so much, Christine. Okay, everyone, so I know that was a very quick overview of the College of Education and Human Services, but like I said, today is just the kickoff of our virtual college week, and we have sessions set up throughout the rest of the week where you can dig deeper into the individual departments and programs that you're interested in pursuing here at Central Michigan University. So as you look at the screen, you're gonna see a layout of the different sessions we have throughout the week. So it'll be joining the exact same way that you did today. They will all be live sessions. Um, faculty will be featured in all of them. And then some of them will also be featuring some of our current students. We're also fortunate to have our academic advising staff supporting us throughout the week as well to ensure that you get all of your questions answered. So take a look at our schedule of events. Make sure to let us know if you guys have any questions. And then I know that all of you were obviously on the Central Michigan University official Facebook page this morning as you saw our welcome and official kickoff of Virtual College Week. But I wanna make sure you follow our college specific page as well. So be sure to follow CMU, College of Education and Human Services, We'll be featuring various videos throughout the week. We're gonna have replays of all of these sessions as well. And it's just a great place to start connecting with um, the College of Education and Human Services. So again, be sure to let us know what questions you have. Let us know what, you, what we can help with. And we look forward to seeing you guys throughout the week. So have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me, Christine. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Bye, fire up chips.